Hi, I'm David and welcome to my blog. I'm going to talk today about multi-track recording software. What is multi-track recording software? Well, multi, that part means many, tracks means multiple tracks, and software means it's recorded on a computer. But this means that you can record many tracks on a software package on your computer. And this gives us an incredible amount of power and control because this gives us as producers and music makers the power to separate all the instruments on your computer. So this would mean that your bass would be one track, your voice would be another track, keyboards, piano, drums, even drums can be broken down into kick drum, snare drum, hi-hat, cymbals, tom one, tom two, uh, and what what this does for a music producer is it gives us power to edit, to record all the different aspects and elements of the song separately. So for example, we could lay down the drums and we could keep going until the drummer gets that take absolutely perfectly. Then we would say, okay, let's lay down the bass guitar. The bass guitar could do two, three, four, five takes. We could even edit those takes and say, okay, let's take from the verse 1 from take 3, chorus from take 2, verse 2 from take 1, and we could even copy and paste and say, okay, well let's copy the chorus from take whatever, 3, and paste it in chorus 2, because it's the same line. And once we got our bass and our drums perfect, then the next step is keyboards, guitars, etc, etc. And usually the last thing that's recorded on a song is the voices backing vocals, harmonies, that's usually the last thing recorded. And then it goes to the job of the mix engineer, and the mixing engineer will take that song, all those elements that I spoke about, the bass, the drums, the keyboards, the guitars, and he'll mix those together to create a final mix. That's the final mix now that we will bounce down into stereo, into our master, and that master is where we create our CD, or that music could be put onto television or onto a picture uh, depending on the purpose of the composition or the song that you're recording. Now let's talk about the three different the three main packages that, that I'd like to talk about today anyway. Pro Tools, Logic Studio and Cubase. What I found in my experience is you know, a lot of guys out there, they, they tend to fight and argue. You know, there's the Logic Camp, there's the Cubase Camp, there's the Pro Tools Camp. And everyone's arguing all the time about why Logic is better than Pro Tools, why Cubase is better than Logic, etc, etc. And uh, I found in my experience that the bottom line, music is music. If you work well, with Cubase, then I say use Cubase. There are many, many hits, top 40 hits and number one hits all across the world that have been recorded on Cubase, and the same goes for Logic, and the same goes for Pro Tools. You know, Pro Tools is, uh, tends to be more popular in the States, especially with uh, rock bands and live bands. Uh, Logic and Cubase are especially uh, more popular in uh, Europe. Um, you know, they have pros and cons. Me personally, I'm a Logic guy. I like to use Logic, but I know Cubase and I've used Pro Tools before. Um, there's nothing wrong with those packages. Uh, basically, they're all multi-track recording software packages. Uh, another name for a multi-track recording software package is a DAW. And DAW stands for Digital Audio Workstation. Uh, that is the professional term that in the industry we use for these packages for a multi-track recording software package. We call it a door. Um, just to speak about the pros and cons, you know, some guys will say that Logic has got deeper and more advanced sequencing and programming functions, especially when it comes to instruments and uh, built-in uh, functionality like uh, virtual instruments. Whereas a lot of guys will say that Pro Tools is more advanced in um, audio, in uh, manipulation of audio, in uh, recording of live bands and tracking. Uh, some guys will claim that uh, Cubase is the best because of the, you know, Cubase invented the VST instrument, virtual instrument plug-in architecture. 
which actually revolutionized the way music is recorded and made today. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, Pro Tools has basically copied Logic's uh, a sequence interface and Logic has gone and copied uh, Pro Tools audio interface and all of them have the same functionality as far as virtual and VST instruments are concerned which, which was created by Cubase. So pretty much in my opinion they're all much of a muchness. They do have strengths and weaknesses but it's all about what you are comfortable working with. You know it's something that I remember uh, my grandmother used to say a poor workman blames his tools. So too often I find, you know, musicians or producers or guys who are starting out, they think, oh, you know, the reason I don't get good music is because I'm using Cubase, and if I only had Pro Tools, or if, you know, that, for me, those are just cop-outs, you know. A lot of top international music, top hits and top 40 tracks are produced on Cubase and Logic and Pro Tools. So, I hope uh, my little talk today has kind of enlightened you a little bit about multi-track recording software and doors and kind of open up your mind to see what is possible to see sort of the thinking that goes behind the different packages if you're on one and you'd like to switch to another I hope you do it for the right reasons there's nothing wrong with switching to another door but don't ever use the software package that you're using as an excuse for why your music is not up to scratch Anyway, keep well. Uh, I'd just like to remind you, I do have a video blog. Uh, if you look in the description down there, somewhere down there in uh, YouTube, you can uh, click on there and go visit my blog. And uh, why not subscribe? I'm offering, uh, I do have an, uh, an ebook that I offer for free. It's called Music Production 101. And I'd love to offer that for free to anybody who would uh, sign up for that free ebook. So go ahead, go and visit my blog and let me know what you think. Please comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.